Hey folks, this is a very cold vagrant and welcome back to Coral Island. In the last video we got started, we set up our little home, we planted a few crops and flowers and stuff. It is a lovely rainy day, it doesn't look like anything's ready to harvest quite yet. What's this? Oh! Jesus. <laughs> okay, and um, we've got mail. Hello lady, looking for a way to pass the time or maybe you want to earn extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow. Okay, I very much do. When you have the time, please visit us at the Beach Shack. We have the perfect welcome guest for you. All right, cool. That's definitely um helpful. I still need one flower, don't I? For the flower bouquet. I'm going to untrack all this. <gasps> Fishing rod. It says I've got five. It says I've got four? I only see two, though. <laughs> I see three. No, no, I think canola probably counts as a flower. So I think it's canola, daffodil, tulip, and violets. We just need to keep an eye out as we wander around and see if we can find another one. Um, beach. Beach, beach, beach. Oh, loads of people at the inn. Interesting. People die. Oh, there's a few people knocking around we haven't met. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, beach shack. Let's head that way. It opens up at 9am. It is currently 6.30am, so... I'm just waiting to see how long... Mm, time's pretty slow. Okay. Let's clear the old yard out a little bit while we've got some time in the morning. It is freezing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I basically just woke up. It's like 5 a.m. And I'm wearing my slanket. My immensely, immensely stylish slanket. I think you'll find. And it's um, it's not it's not a great look. But I've got a hood up as well because it is that cold. I don't really like turning the heat and gone, trying to save money, blah, 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 blah. But the problem is... Um, I have my OBS on the right-hand side. You know, I've got two monitors, and on the second monitor, I've got my OBS, my recording screen. It shows me what's going on, and I need it to keep track of things and stuff like that. But the hood in this thing is so big and fluffy <laughs> that I've lost all all signs of um, I think a uh, peripheral vision. It's just just entirely gone. I cannot see. All I see is Coral Island. It's like wearing a VR headset, basically. All I see is the island. Sounds quite ominous, actually. Take down this tree and then we'll go. I keep hitting. <sighs> One sec. Eh. My mouse is very sensitive, and the games are all very sensitive to the mouse. So I keep hitting my like mouse pad accidentally, and it moves the mouse a little bit, and then that shifts it over to mouse and keyboard rather than Xbox controller. All right, let's get rid of this nonsense. Lovely, lovely. And let's head down to the beach each. Let's go get away. Beach each. Let's go get away. Do not know that song or like that song well enough to be singing it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna meet a couple new people over here on the right as well. Hopefully, more dogs, <laughs> more than anything else. New human, new human, come hither. Judge Ross, where do you think one should go for good ramen? The shack. Hmm, really now? All right, I don't know. I just moved here. What is the shack? I don't even know what the shack is. Hello. Millie! Yes, Liddy, I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. So exciting to have people moving in. Have you met everyone? Not yet. I'm working on it, Mills. I'm working on it. Don't you worry. Someone else down here by the fountain. Eleanor. I was telling the mayor I didn't think... Oh, wait, wait. I was telling the mayor... She's not oh, I didn't think anyone would want to visit the island until we got rid of the oil on the beach. You proved me wrong. Welcome to the community. Is that why everyone's so surprised? There's been an oil spill. I know the game does have like a bit of a eco... I was going to say terrorism. <laughs> like an eco... Um... Oh, it's called fish and ships. I like that. Um, like an eco preservation slant to it. I don't know how big of a focus it is, but I know it is part of the game. Question mark in there? Who's in there? Oh, the beach shack. So, it's been an oil spill. Nobody wants to come to the island, but I will help fix it somehow. Maybe, probably. What a lovely day to go to the beach, eh? <laughs> what? Sunny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing, we'll get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Back in my day! Okay, then we start with fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to. Go up. Welcome, a new face at last. Liddy, isn't it? Jim, Liddy is here. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, Jim's the one who doesn't care for me. Nice to finally meet you, Liddy. Come have a seat. We are just discussing your welcome gifts. People are very nice. Oh, they've got a slushy machine. It's fine if you prefer to stand. <laughs> Gotta keep those leg muscles strong, eh? Meh. <laughs> Speaking of leg muscles, I've got the perfect workout for you catching bugs. Hey, there we go. Sit, sit, sit. Well, Kyra is embarrassed that they don't have the animation to sit. That's <laughs> farm life so far. A bit tiring. Don't forget to take breaks. Even fishing can be tiring if you do it non-stop. Is the implication that he's yelling or that he's a robot? <laughs> Settle a debate for his lady, which is a bit of activity. Fishing for fun and ever exciting bug catching. Yeah, my wife's a competitive ladybug. <sighs> bug uh, I prefer tilling. Tiling? Do I want to game the system? No, fishing. Aha, I knew it. Did you hear that, love? Liddy, you're right. Fishing is indeed a better activity. Well, in any case, he's a welcome gift. A fishing rod and a bug net. I was wondering if it would maybe determine which I got and I'd prefer to be fishing than bug catching, so. So you catch. <gasps> Museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Exciting. Good luck. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks, guys. That's all I need. A museum to fill. Skills to a lot. I just... Yeah. Actually, let me think. Oh, we're doing all right on this, you know? We're nearly there. Oh my god, we're not nearly there. There's <laughs> so many people in this town. What the heck? So, I leveled up foraging. Do I have a crown? No. Okay, that's cool, though. I'm not really doing anything, am I? Um, okay. I mean, this just feels like they've just filled my inventory, frankly. <laughs> Is it up? It's up. How do I... Oh, I can go into the water more than I expect. Oh, oil spill. Hello. Is this going to work? There's no fish. Oh, there is a little fishy. I don't get it. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Am I meant to not hold it? And it looks like it's breaking. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, okay. You want to make sure you've near enough got full when it slows down. There we go! We got a barracuda! I mean, that must have been quite a hard fish to get right from the start. Barracuda does not sound like an easy catch. Okay, cool. Uh, right, yeah. Um, where's the museum then? Can I check out the museum? Okay, let's, let's, hit, up, let's hit up the community center and the museum because there's tons of people up there we haven't seen yet. Where else are we going to fish? Oh, I guess there's a river. That would probably do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eh. <laughs> I don't know how to do that either. Do I have to, like, wait? I have to bait it out, I think, don't I? Oh, I can hold it. Okay, I got it. All right, cool, though. Hello? Have I met you before? Oh, it's my tour, of course. Looking for farming advice. Never worked on myself. I'm at home at sea. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm dying. Oh, can I, can I steal you? I need a flower, man. <laughs> I know I'm growing some, so I will get one eventually, but I want one now. I'm not a patient man. <laughs> okay, there's a little, there's a little caterpillar-looking thing over there. Da da, da da, da 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 da. What? A red admiral? Not actually red. <laughs> da, da. Hello. Who's that little guy? 
Like a little lizard? I don't think I can catch a little lizard, if I had to guess. Okay, I've got things to collect. I'm happy. I'm assuming they only appear in certain seasons as well. Much like myself, the animals of the island are seasonal. Alright, let's nip into here first. There's a bunch of people in here. I don't think we've ever been in here either. Yes, that word was a bunch, in case you were curious. Hello. Frank. Whoa, look, he's finally here. The new farmer, right? I'm Frank. Hi, Frank. Hey, Lily. I feel like it's a stomachache every time he drinks milk. He hates it. <laughs> Guys. Spike bonkers is busy. You can't talk right now. The coffee shop is closed when it's raining like this. I usually spend the day volunteering at the shelter. This is very cute. You you leave him alone. No, he looks happy today. I'm glad. That's good. Oh, oh bunny rabbit. <gasps> okay, I need a pet house or a pet bed, but I can indeed I can get a is it is it the ones here? I think it is, isn't it? I can get spike bonkers. <laughs> oh, I want Lindy. I don't oh god, who do I want? I mean obviously we can't get any of them now. But we'll have to we'll have to meet them out here. I do like spike bonkers, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> who wouldn't like spike bonkers? Theo. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're the new farmer from San Francisco, right? Oh that's right, Pokio, I'm Theo. Something warm sounds good right now. I don't have anything to give you. Hello? I'm trying to meet all the people. Judge, oh yeah, judge Ross. Now, is Judge Ross a judge? Or are they just called Judge Ross for some unknown reason? I think I've met everyone. Like, if you call a kid Judge Ross, you, oh, Mystical Tablet. Hello, Mystical Tablet. Hello, I am Mystical Tablet. Starlet Town Rank. Okay. Oh, I like this. Coral Island, and that's the piece. Very excited about that. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be? Got a library. Got the mayor. I can donate, but <gasps> another thing to fill. I haven't seen this rain this hard since the last time it rained. Ho, 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 chortle. Rainy days make my head a bit. I love a rainy day. Yesterday was horrendously rainy. It was beautiful. Pause by P. Benchley. It looks like I could maybe donate books and knickknacks. Okay. I'm excited. Okay, and let's go hit up the museum. There's someone else there as well. And then just about 50 more people to meet and we're done, <laughs> seemingly. That's very cool in the middle. Oh, he's grumpy. Sad. Sad. Scott. Nope, they haven't magically returned. What? Oh, hello there. You're Liddy, right? I'm sorry, you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Liddy. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up. At least it's not empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was gonna sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling I'm used to. The one thing I was good at, maybe feel useful, gonna be taken away from me? I couldn't stand it. Deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fund to clean the oil spill. Not as much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm gonna do next. That's when I realized I had two options. Am I gonna continue the pity party, or am I gonna rebuild the museum's collection now the town isn't in immediate crisis? Okay, hood. My head's too hot. <laughs> that's right, I'm gonna rebuild the <laughs> I was hoping, that's right, pity party. <laughs> oh, what's my headset doing? Oh. By the way, Lily, I've heard something, oh, that's ominous. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself. I can usually use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Not anything, but we all these items we want to display, historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, so on. Drop by whenever we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed in the museum. What do you say? Wanna help me fill it? 
That's what I like to hear. <laughs> the implication of that we finished talking and he's just like he just stands there staring at you going <laughs> Okay. Do I have a glass at the top? There we go. There's my little red animal, look at him! Sitting by the tree, and my barracuda... So I'm assuming one of these is... That's fresh water. And this one's salt water. Oh, I see my barracuda. Am I blind? Have I lost my mind? Maybe. <laughs> Always a possibility. I don't see it though. Who would be over here? It's a barracuda with salt water. This is another aquarium. No, it doesn't look like it. Yo! Yo! We ain't really coming down. Yeah, but look, look. I want to work on the skeletons. Hello? It's funny, there's so many people to meet, and yet you, you still run into plenty of people who aren't anybody. I don't know where my barracuda is. They've, they've, they've eaten my barracuda, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. Before we go, collection reward. Yo, 60 fossils. 53 fish, 69 fish. Three sharks, 45 critters, 78 artifacts, vintage artifacts, gems, fire gem, earth gem, water gem, wind gem. And we get costumes, assumingly, <laughs> for getting them. Or a weird little scouts. Oh, I'm excited, folks. <laughs> this is really an easy way to make me happy in a video game. I think a day is about 20 minutes. I think our first day was obviously longer because we were doing other things, but it seems like a day is about 20 minutes long. All the animals have got inside. Pablo. It must be Liddy, right? Why is everyone this town like hot? <laughs> I was meant to look like this. God damn. All right, Pablo. Put it away. It's surprisingly cute. Jesus, Pablo. <laughs> it's kind of a backhand. I don't know how appropriate that is. It feels like a backhanded compliment. That's the kind of thing that only very attractive people can get away with. It's a curse that we must bear, frankly. It's very much like the. Um, you know, the the meme with the woman and the, the guy and there's harassment or it's... When it's the hot guy, he's like, oh, you're sweet. And then when it's the when attractive guy, she's going, hello, HR. And people, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a, bit of a daft meme, but it's not entirely inaccurate, I would suggest. Ooh, girl, ooh. Ooh. It's a tough one, this. You can see how quickly it it drops down there. Oh, God. oh, I was being a dick at the end. I just thought, well, it's really close. I know it's going to break, but if I just hold it, I think it'll make it in time. It didn't. Now, my problem with this mechanic, maybe there's going to be a way to tell in the future. Unlike, say, Animal Crossing, where different fish had different sizes and you could choose whether for your lure, the fish here just kind of appear out of nowhere. Which means, how would I target farm a fish? Now, obviously, different seasons in different areas, freshwater, saltwater, etc. But, let's say I'm trying to get a freshwater fish in spring. Like, let's say I want something other than an eel right now. How do I know this is not an eel until I catch it? I don't. That seems silly. But maybe there's a way that I don't know about yet.
At least I know how the system works now. <laughs> Should get out on this one, I think. So he's got enough reel. I don't. I don't know what to do. I like. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know I could do this. Have I always been able to do this? Ah, oh, it's gonna speed up my my navigation by a lot. I mean, it looks a bit daft, but whatever. I'm gonna go donate an eel just so I don't accidentally sell it. So I just I want to see it. <laughs> oh, so I'm really curious why is this, why is this glass at the top? Where's my fish? Oh my eel. If nothing else, I'm speed. Okay, I think it's time to head back home. Go burn some stamina. For speedy. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm gonna be tapping B for like <laughs> the foreseeable future. I'll sell an eel. I don't know how much they're worth, but we'll find out. Um yeah, let's clear some stuff out. Why not? I've gotta do something with your uh I, I, I dislike being inefficient with my stamina. It makes me sad. But yeah, um, 21 minutes. I guess a day is like 22 minutes or something like that. So we're probably probably doing triple days, at a guess. Because it would either be a very short video or a slightly longer video. Rude. That's my, uh, hoeing noise. The hoes love it. So how's everyone doing? Personally, full on panic attack yesterday. <laughs> I thought it was a panic attack. It was a panic attack by my standards. It's quite a high standard for... I'm a very, I am, generally speaking, not a very stressful person, right? Probably to, I would suggest to a fault. You know, people like, I, I said this to someone the other day, I'm like, well, how's that a bad thing? I was like, well, because if you don't stress about things at all, and I don't, I really have a very lackadaisical approach to things. Um, when you never stress, it means you don't, you don't, you're not worrying about things as much. You're kind of, in a way, less incentivized to actually do something about them. You know what I mean? There's less pressure in that way. Even though I do put a lot of pressure on myself. It's a, it's a weird dichotomy. Nice. Um, but yesterday got me, I feel like it's been bubbling under the surface for a while, and yesterday got me a little bit. Uh, detective? Mass Detective Arc 1, I try to be as normal as possible, normal clothes, normal job. I already stand out enough with my hair and eyes, don't need to make it any worse. Mochi, Mochi. Mochi or Mochi? Mochi, Mochi, Mochi. Unfortunately for me, I have a gift I can't ignore. I will always search for the truth. Excuse me, Mom, I heard you're looking for a Mochi. Yes, my cute little doggy, I think someone took her. Last time I saw her, she was napping in here. Hmm, interesting. Gotcha, she's here, ma'am. Oh, Mr. Sato, I was about to call you, but a telemarketer called me and wouldn't let me hang up. Mochi well, just wandered in here. I think she smelled the ribs I was cooking. Oh, thank God. Mochi, how did you get here? I can answer that. Mochi left through the open back door of your house. Then she snuck through this loose fence and walked all the way here. This loose fence. I need to get that fixed immediately. You naughty puppy. Don't ever do that again. Thank you so much, young man. Let me make you a cup of tea as thanks. Oh, no need, ma'am. Seeing Mochi safe is all the reward I need. Case closed, back to normal life. Oh, forecast. Uh, tomorrow is sunny. How to be a farmer? With Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff. You don't look like Jeff Smith. <laughs> My name is Jeff Smith. I know about farming, raising a farm. Okay. Okay. Water your. I know to water the crops. Hello. You. Be, I don't know if that means I, I don't know if you're ready. They look. I mean, I can't do anything. I don't want to. I don't want to keep doing that. It's making me nervous. I'm assuming they're not ready. Maybe another day. The thing is with the turnips and stuff. We obviously we planted them before. Um, uh, we didn't buy them. I, I basically, I didn't see how long they take to grow. I need some bloody cash, so 
Chop chop. Need my inventory expansion more than anything. Hoping eventually we get like I, I like how quick she forces things. I don't really know how to put that, but I would like it to be much quicker as well. Through larger areas. I want everything immediately without working for it. That's too much to ask. Um, okay, let's go. I feel like there's a billion things we need to do, but also I don't know what any of it is. So disconcerting. Can I? Oh god, there's so many strangers. I'll go find some more strangers, meet some more townies, and I love God of Adam. <laughs> and uh, you know, collect some bugs and stuff along the way. I think is a plan. That was at nine. But I saw at least. Yeah, there's one person in the carpenters, so I think we'll go in that direction and wait till 9 o'clock. Try to find a flower as well. I'm oh, there already. Mm, someone up there, let's go this way. If I was a flower, where would I be? I must get into the mindset of the flower. Ooh, look at me, I'm so pretty and I live in the ground. Hello? Okay. New it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother me and I won't bother you. Psych. You're in my way. No, seriously, you are in my way. I can't I, I can't I, I can't tell if they're nice or not. It's very confusing. <laughs> but, you know, there's other qualities. Can I catch the f that that little I don't think I can catch that little thing. Oh hello. I didn't even see that. I was thinking about this. I don't think I can catch this, but we're gonna give it a go in a way. No, okay. <laughs> Takaba. Is that you, Taro? Or I've seen you before. Are you new here? I am new here. Right, that's what they are. I keep forgetting what they are. It's wild seeds. Can't go through there. Uh, what time is it? Oh, yeah, let's go back to the carpenters. Keep forgetting I can do that. I guess we just need... Oh, hello. Um, Pufferfish? Who is Pufferfish? I did say... I saw a bag. I saw a plastic bag that said Pufferfish on it. On the home screen. Hey, Dinda. These puffer people have some nerves stirring trouble, and they do it in full knowledge of what the oil spill has done to us. Okay, so the puffer people made the oil spill. Don't break into your house. Hello. Sorry, yeah. Oh, you're Lydia. I heard about you from my Uncle Joko, the carpenter. Tall? Mustache? No. Weird reaction. Okie dokie. Um... Whoa, why is that stranger so huge? There aren't many left. I can only see one, two, three strangers on the map. Four strangers on the map. Okay, we don't, I don't feel like we've got anything massive that we need to... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, tell you what, let's live back then. Let's make this uh, flower bouquet. Let's want to make something pretty. But yeah, we're just really waiting for the crops and get more money, buy a inventory upgrade, and then um, buy a bajillion seeds and hopefully get some farming economy on the go. This is the plan. Where do I live? I live here. Okay, so. I'll put you away. Put you away. I mean, you, 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 and you. Oh, that's not... One sec. <laughs> LB. What? Okay, wait, how do I? Oh. Oh, RB? I think it's RB. I'm probably gonna sell that, I think. Yeah, it's RB, okay. Twenty-three thirty-five. Why is the red star one worse than the normal one? I would have thought it'd be the way around. Oh, we should take this little blacksmith as well. The coffer. 
You can have my morale. Okay, so we should be able to craft, I think. Unless I've done this completely wrong. Flower bouquet. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Equip the item you'd like to give. Approach the character you want to surprise with a gift. Press X to hand over the gift. Okay, cool. Now, the question, of course, is who do we give it to? <laughs> um, hmm. It has to be someone who's single, obviously. Can I organize by single? Eligible partner. There we go. Okay. Uh, Eva. I did like Eva. Mm, Yuri. That's oh, not that many, actually, is there? Although we've probably not met them all. Suki, Lily. I think it might be. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Leave me alone. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I'm 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 like a big lad, right? Like even when losing the weight, yada yada. I'm still I'm always gonna be a big guy. I'm six foot two. I'm quite broad shouldered. I, I lift, yada yada yada. I'm not. This is not me bragging by any stretch of imagination. By the way, this is just a fact of nature. I'm quite a large person. I take up a lot of space. So it's nice sometimes having a partner who you don't feel like you're going to break. You know what I mean? Got you a present. I wasn't expecting a gift today. What a nice surprise. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we can sell that. Not sure there's anything else to do with those. Okie dokie. Um, what am I doing with my life? Carpenter has yet another... There's always new people in the carpenters. We just... Oh, hello. Really just waiting for my crops to grow. I'm surprised that like our first crops didn't grow a little quicker, you know, like a two or three day thing, given it's like the very first quest I ever got. Bree. Oh, you're a new farmer. I was worried though for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. All right, Bree. I'm glad they're not all lovely people. You know, every, every town has to have some slightly standoffish people. Most of them are nice. And everyone's aggressively attractive. Why is... Oh, okay. Um, anyone else? Okay, did I, see, I, see a, I see a question mark up there. And in the school. Let's head in that direction. Keep an eye out for some... Ooh. What's going on? Not welcome here. Oh, it's a protest. Against pufferfish. Oh, the maze involved. Karen, hello all. She looks exec. She looks corporate. Mm. Sorry. Passionate residents of Scar Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. <laughs> you can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. Betty! I don't know why. The oil spill that reached our town last year was sure to wing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty. If I may red shirt, <laughs> we can make Coral Island lively again by being tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lakes and across the beach. See where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Puff fish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see. Creating jobs and attracting our eternal talents. In no time, you'll all see this town alive again. Picture this, puffer fish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier inside fishing ships. Enjoying life. Red shirt. 
Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. I mean, the island is beautiful. I, you can't really pretend otherwise. Let's bail you out. Expand our operations here on the coast. That made the island a world famous oil town. Putting you on the map, all you need to do is say yes. And by bail out, you mean drilling around the island. But for fishers and investors, we'll make a hefty profit. Do the math, it'll trickle down to you people. Because as everyone knows, trickle down economics are faultless. Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. The door is always open, Mr. Mayor. Like, never mind... Oh, look, there's clearly several problems with this situation, but the major one is, look, the US is littered with towns that were founded on booms about limited minerals, limited materials, or usually mining towns. The US is littered, littered with mining towns. And you know what? They're all abandoned and they're all extinct and nobody lives there. And the people that do live there are struggling to get by because as soon as the mines are dry, people have to leave. <laughs> and the same goes for oil. Lady right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused, you don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with... And she's called Karen, I mean. <laughs> I'm with Pufferfish. Lady, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should make the best of it. I mean, the island doesn't seem to be dying. The island seems to be quite nice, actually, but... I know. That's weird. I just teleported back. Who was I gonna go meet? Oh, yeah, over there. Okay. Well, there's our eco slant. I don't like you, Carol. Oh. Pine Sphinx. Cool. Seems like it's a... Oh, hello. Seems like it's a caterpillar kind of year. Can I go inside... Pufferfish? I don't know if the, I want the townspeople to see me going into puffer fish. <laughs> Rainer. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Please, is she? Is she? Where's Rainer? Oh, she's not in. The ones I want are never in the. Where is she? Is she down here. I'm a little surprised so many of the pot Right, let me just organize this by... Oh, I can't organize by name. Oh, this seems to be by name. She actually is not on my list for some reason. But... But... Oh, I know she's... I know she's... I know she's... <laughs> shilling for big oil, <laughs> but on the other hand, on the other hands, I suppose. So it depends what you're interested in people for as well. Hey, Raphael. If you're into your himbos and stuff, this game must be huge for you. I, I don't I don't really like this. Game. There's always a thing with the himbo where someone sees someone who's like big and strong and they automatically think himbo. <laughs> I don't know, I've, I've been saying it the entire video. And, you know, there's no reason that would necessarily be the case. I, I was coming over here to talk to the question mark, but they've disappeared. However... However... Come here. Come here, whatever the heck in heck you are. That's a fly. <laughs> it's just got gigantic eyeballs. I guess I should talk to everyone when I walk past. Have you seen the poor fish building? I see it every time I take Valentina to the school. I haven't seen many Pufferfish employees around. They like to keep to themselves. Emma looks remarkably like a friend of mine. Emma was a friend of mine. Alright, gang -lang. Where are we going? Museum? Museum. Donate some of these specimens. Say hello to the puppers on the way. Oh, shoot. I think we should probably always grab these. Never know what you'll get, right? Life's like a box of chocolates. Uh, -huh. uh let me see something. My beloved. 
can't talk to her again today, but I just <laughs> need to badger her for a second. Make sure she knows I love her. People, people think, and it's, I don't know, it's like a wider conversation, I suppose. It's okay to be a little shallow. You know, people freak out about shallow, like, like it's a bad, ah, what's two flies in there? I wonder how this works then. I don't like this if I can't see the animals. Like, I can't see my eels at all. I have concerns. Um, I just get a little nervous. Like, you shouldn't date someone because of their looks. You shouldn't date someone because of their looks. If you want to fool around, you know, if you're into casual dating and stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. And you're just hanging out with someone in that way because you're into their looks, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think. I think that's absolutely fine. Um, I want to go to the blacksmith, don't I? Where's the blacksmith? Are you the blacksmith? You're the carpenter. Why does it say town east rather than blacksmith? Or like, rather than carpenter? It feels like it's hiding the pertinent information from me. Everyone's down at the beach. Couple more stranger dangers. I, I, I do not know where the blacksmith is. Um, recycling center. I have, I have seen it. I don't remember where it was. Bear with me. How can it be this hard to find? I feel like I've checked every building five times. I'm clearly just... Oh, it's there. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, it's okay to just, you know fool around with someone because they're attractive. And I think it's okay to say, like, I I would not date someone I didn't find attractive. You know, physically attractive. Because you want to be attracted to your partner. That's like, you should be attracted to your partner. I should be reading text. Everyone's just angry about puffer fish. The problem is cause, uh, oh, that's a tough one. A spice bush, a swallowtail butterfly. The problem of course comes when you're only into looks and into nothing else. Um, This is obviously not a good fact, like, Attractiveness is not a good foundation for a relationship. Everything else is much more important. I feel like you need both, personally. This is not a controversial thing I'm saying, but I just it's on my mind. Uh, right. Process a geode or coffer. Oh, that cost me 20 quid. I got an artifact, though. Upgrade tools. Hello. So any bronze bars. Okay. And a lot of money. <laughs> this is not in my immediate future. What do you sell? Oh, he sells coal. Oh, he sells ore. But I'm assuming we're going to unlock mines at some point. I yearn for them. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tweets of all time. The children. It's, it's something about how... We should go back to the museum, shouldn't we? Yeah. You know, the... Um, it, it's something like, you know, given the popularity of Minecraft with children... It's clear. The children yearn for the mines. And it became like a big hit tweet kind of thing, you know, hundreds of thousands of likes and stuff like that. So now whenever there's um, child labor laws are changed, because they got changed, I can't remember what state it was, one of the states in the US recently changed it to make people work at like 13, 14, whatever it was. Um, so everyone's like, yes, the children yearn for the mines. And like a politician said, this is what children actually want, you know, they kind of tried to present it as a positive. I got a reward. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, so that means I get glass as my third reward. And then there's bigger collection rewards when you max out a collection. Alright, cool. The children yearn for the mines. I know we're supposed to oppose the Pufferfish's plans for the island, but if they offer to renovate the observatory in Dock, I'm not sure what to do. I like that. Okay, it's good. There's opposing views. Uh, understandable ones, I would suggest. Is this the thing I eat, or is it? It said seeds. So up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's just there. Yeah, okay. I've not really been burning through my... Actually, I've burned through way more stamina than I thought I had. Do some fishing. Grab a fishy-wishy. Try to figure out if there's a technique to knowing what you're going to catch. If nothing else, I might level up my... Oh, actually, that's a good point. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, now this is a good fish. That was a chill... Oh, it's a flyer. 
They're not a good fish. <laughs> Save Coal Island. Oil for all. P communist propaganda. <laughs> I mean, it did have the scythe and the sickle and the, the red coloration. It's weird, the first, the starting bit of it seems to struggle a little bit, like, the acceleration's quite small. No cockiness now, no cockiness allowed. Always bloody eels, man. What about my little pond? Me a little fishy. A little fishy? Came from the, the. Oh, you're not a fish. This is another goddamn flyer. I've been roosed. You little fishy. You little fishy. Do I want a fish? I do love an aquarium. I always wanted, like, one of the dreams I always had, if I was actually, you know, making money in my life, was like... Oh, there's another one. I'm just finding rubbish. It was like, um... Oh. Like an aquarium wall, you know? Or like an inbuilt aquarium. I just think that'd be fun. Coffer. Okay, let's drop some stuff off. My inventory's not very big at the moment, so I don't want to clog it up with stuff. We're going to get five more when we upgrade. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping there's going to be some collection tomorrow. Uh, let's... Uh, how are we doing on time? Oh, it's, it's awkward. It's awkward. I think I'm just going to have to accept that these videos are going to be a little bit longer. Because I don't really want to like end the day prematurely early, you know, you kind of want to make the most of each day, right? So... I think that'll be the case. We'll just have slightly longer videos for the series. It, it kind of suits it anyway with the chill vibe, and I'm sure we did that on Animal Crossing all the time. So, let's do just that. Probably an hour and ten, hour and fifteen, something like that. I suppose it depends what goes on on the day. <laughs> so I am curious how we get access to the mines. Well, on a basic level, we just need to get our first crops, start making some some moolah. Maybe we could just have a fishing, bug catching day and just focus on that and get some new species, of course, but also make some money. Ooh. New discovery, a geode. Crack it open. Nice. Very exciting. Okay, so we'll take the coffer and the geode to town tomorrow. Oh, let's go to bed for now. Time for wait. Ah, uh oh. <laughs> I knew I'd have bloody storage. Okay, not bad. The morels were worth. Okay, so they're worth more, but they heal for less. I'm just kind of wanting to get rid of the flyer. All right. What's the docket for today? Spoils of the land. Back to nature with Jenna. You can find shiitake mushrooms in the forest, and obviously the chance of finding them is higher after a rainy day. Like my life coach always says, rain brings life. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> There's a large man at my door. Uh, that's, Mark is kind of my funny... Looking at Mark is kind of where I, I I will end up aesthetically, I suspect. You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. Feels like you're here to offer me like a protection racket. The cavern northwest of here is now open. Nice! Okay, this is what we're doing today. When you see Jack's ranch, go follow, blah blah blah. It's closed. Yes, yeah, so it was wait, what is on my slanket? Sticky. <laughs> it was closed and now it's open. Catch any of that? All right, Mark, you can be nicer about it. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam the monsters anymore. Don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. 
Oh, Mark, I always go too deep. Monsters. It is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. <laughs> all right. All right, Mark. God damn. Okay, so there's monsters, so we can only do the top floors, but I'm hopeful. Oh, I'm hoping, eventually, we'll be able to uh, clear those out ourselves. 100 smackaroonies. Oh, still don't have enough money. Nearly. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I've gone crazy over the thought of you. Where there is the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz is one because it is wild to me how well those two songs match up. I'm not crazy. They they sync up immensely well. Okay, we're gonna sell all this. I think. You see what? When we first try to sell something, we don't know. This has got question marks. So we want to sell initially, and then we can start working out what we want to sell and when. I'm not gonna buy any seeds. I'm gonna nip to the. Well, I'll go get Stranger. Then we'll nip to the blacksmith, and then we'll head up to the mines. Um. La 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 la. La la la. la. Oh, oh, oh. You son of a bitch, come here. Aww. Hello. Oh, Alice is cute. Is that, is that you, Liddy? Wow, I almost didn't recognize you in that get up. Oh, so you're the one moving into the lot, huh? That would explain the outfit. Alright, it's just not the town, you know? The inn isn't as busy as it used to be. Hopefully, with you moving in, it's a sign of something good. I feel like a lot of them know who I am. You know? Uh, blacksmith. There. It definitely feels like we've... I mean, they mentioned we've lived here before. I just... I wonder why we left and how long we've been gone for. Oh, actually, I want to check something. Um, ah, there is. Sorry, I want to kind of work on my fishing one. Oh, there is a combat one as well. Oh, you can get bait. Ah, see, there is going to be a way. Bait, quality, and double fish. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't really complain about systems until you know this now. Until you know how the system actually works. All right, so anything I can do in the meantime? Go catch a fish, I suppose. <laughs> Let's catch a fish wherever we can, wherever we get a spare minute, just because... Nice, I'm gonna level up our fishing, so. Or not. There we go. <laughs> do, 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 do. You little fishy. Hmm. Keep getting baited in. Ha! <laughs> Got some trash. What was I saying? Something cool. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, Anne. Um, can't imagine what I'm hoping to the ocean. Want the one ahead of the oil drilling. We'll stop them before it's all too late. I agree, Anne. Oh, hello. I don't know. Antonio. <laughs> yeah? Ah, the new resident. Hey, Antonio. My mother said I don't have to bring anything yet for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, is there a... I have a calendar. Uh, oh, Raina. God damn. <laughs> I mean, come on now. God, yeah, these are all the actions. Okay, that makes sense. It's a bestiary of monsters. This game is... It's, it's like, honestly, it, in so many ways, it's like this game was just made for me in a lab. It's kind of wild. I mean, I, I get that it's also it's, it's what a lot of players want these days, you know, this kind of thing. I'm not saying I'm particularly original in that regard, but still, it's it's kind of crazy to me. Oh, Where's that little thing I saw? Oh, it's that. Nice! Little wood satyr butterfly. Let's read the text now. Randy, of all my years living here, I never would have thought an oil company would ever move here. What should we do? This is not good. What are we going to do? We're going to go to the blacksmith. Pop open my coffer, I'm a geode. Swing by the museum and then head to the mines. And don't make a joke about it. <laughs> oh, oops. 
bonk. Pink crystal and bonk. A green mask. So, so far that is costing me money, obviously. But as soon as we've donated these things to the museum once, all future ones we sell. So it's a little upfront cost and then in the end, we get money for it. I mean, obviously we could donate, we could sell it right now instead of donating, but that seems like lunacy, frankly, so. Kayum, not sure where she is, why? You should try the beach. I don't know who that is or why I'd be asking. <laughs> That's okay. Ah, look! Coral Island's natives used to wear this. I got a fly. Ah, I can see a fly and a caterpillar. Can I see a little red one? I don't know. I can see. Yeah, I can see a couple there. I'm not seeing any fish, though. Got another reward. Pot oh, very nice. Okay, that's good. Weird skull on the right. It's got both the orbital finestra though. Maybe if we do this. Sorry, <laughs> Liddy, come take a look at this. You see, this, this is a blueprint for a big and <gasps> dreams the museum we have now is. Maybe that's how we get the fish to show. It works, but can you imagine something bigger, something more extravagant? Imagine this, Liddy. Yo, this is more my speed. We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures. So how do we get this? Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's got long arms. Then there's another section where we look at all the fossils we've dug up. God, I hope this is going to be reality. If you're showing me this and this never happens, you know how annoyed I'm going to be with you, buddy. <laughs> we can have a section for the ancient artifacts. If you're cock teasing me right now, bucko, it could be trouble. Doesn't that sound exciting? Sounds cool, isn't it? There's one big problem, though. Town doesn't have the budget to build it, at least not yet. What if we raise some money? I'm going to start a Kickstarter campaign. Well. You know what a Kickstarter is? Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform and put a project online that people can help fund it. I wonder if Coral Island was one on Kickstarter. In return, we'll give them something from the project as a token of appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway. I'm almost ready to launch. A few things I need help with. Okay. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that already have something significant to show. Something to really show backers they're backing a legit project. If I show the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think the project is a scam or something. I mean, I've donated like four insects already. What more do people want? Now, my dear hardworking Lily, Liddy, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of the museum yesterday and it looks so empty. No one's going to help us if all we show them is an empty museum. If you were to donate more items, you see where I'm going with this? That's right, museum won't look so empty. We can convince more people to help fund the project. Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint, ask Millie to write something for the campaign, or Lily to make us a website. Look at that, it's all coming together. Go forth, Liddy, come up with more items. We can launch our Pixar campaign. It's interesting, because it's interesting to know that that's what's going to happen. I wonder if it's the, the, like, the final tier. On the other hand, I was going to do it anyway, so... <laughs> actually make a difference um but i just see i did see we just got a quest uh, uh, 50. it's quite a lot we'll get there okay so let's go to the mines although we're swinging back there let's go plant some potatoes first i'm not at the point where i can like afford to organize my my farm like it's just you know, if there's room, plant some potatoes. You yeah. know, doesn't need to be more complex than that at this point in time. Eventually, when it will all be very neat and tidy, I promise. I always say that. I always think like, oh, eventually I'm gonna make something beautiful, and I just, in a in a way, I'm not wired like that. You know, I've never been one to uh, 
I've never been particularly adept at making things pretty, you know? It's never really been in my wheelhouse, I would suggest. I do like these mystery seats. Oh, I should check the board as well to see if there's any uh, missions. Ooh, question mark. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Oh, hello, cheeky. Don't mind if I do. Is that ever going to fade or. I feel like some of them are harder to catch. Like that one, for example. <laughs> What's that over there? Wasabi, nice. A little bit of wasabi. A bit of wasabi being the key word there, really. Oh. I was meant to go to a question. Oh, well, whatever. Alright, let's see how these uh, mines work. People tell me jokes about some company changing the museum into oil. Oh, here's Scott. <laughs> it's just a joke, right? Sure it is, buddy. Okay, this is cool. Man, I want to live on Coral Island. It seems like a really nice place to live. Get back, get back. You, the weak looking farmer, get back. Get back from the mon. There's no monsters, oh, hello. Kira, Kira does not look pleased. Wait a minute, where are the monsters? I slayed them all with my pickaxe. Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels. That quake, hmm, shaking happened after you entered, right? Always does. <laughs> Always does. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but nah, that can wait. <laughs> Never mind the curses. My name is Kira, as you mean the new farmer. Being a farm and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. She's presenting her shaft. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. Definitely come to the right place for mine and ore to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty. Just forget, don't forget they've got monsters too. You won't give me a sword then. Ah, <laughs> you take the swords, you'll need something to defend yourself with. Long descent, make sure you're well supplied. Oh yeah, food items. I mean, we're not, I'm not worried about doing too much of it right now anyway. Okay. Reach level five and turn the, okay, cool. Uh, I need to rearrange. We want the sword. More like that, I think. Because if we're mining and attacking, because there's too many things down here, you want the sword and the pickaxe next to each other. Assumedly. Okay. So... That's just stone, but it looks like it could have... <laughs> it could have more, with a bit of luck. Got a geode. Maybe we should focus on getting to the fifth floor rather than mining at this point in time. I just want to hit the colourful ones. There we go, we've got some coal for the first time. I need to make another storage chest. How do I... what? I mean, this looks like a ladder. I wonder if it's like Stardew. So how it works in Stardew is there's one of these rocks will have a mystery geode. Yeah, there it is. One of the rocks has the the lower level contained within it, basically. So you do need to mine to, to progress. That's okay. That's what we're here for, right? But that's also why you need to be well stocked. You need to have enough stamina to bash through all the rocks. Hello? Get absolutely wrecked. <laughs> I 
Can I? Nice. Okay, combat's nice. It's 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 uh, it's, it's speedy. Oh, bronze ore, very cool. We need more of that. Only on level two. What's this bloody thing? Where's the hole? So bought more food. Um, I wonder if it's only ever in the big ones. I can't remember what it was on the first floor. I, I remember thinking, oh, I should check <laughs> for future use. It's gonna be the last, last. Oh, there we go. Okay, that again. That was in a double hit one, so that's just worth keeping in mind. I think. Hello, you're cute. I'm sure at some point they're gonna fight back, but it doesn't seem to be happening yet. Um, oh, wait. Why is my inventory? <sighs> Compost. How do I drop things? Is compass what I want to drop? Yeah, probably, right? Mm, maybe should have been the wasabi. Retrospect. The war! There's not really any challenge at this point in time. They just they just die. <laughs> but that's okay. It's early early doors. The problem is, I'm probably not going to get enough here to get through to... This is floor three. We need to get to five. We're probably not going to have enough. But it's okay. We've got some stone. We've got some ore. We've got some geodes. We've got some experience in mining, you know. We'll come back some other time with a clearer inventory. And, um... Yeah. And some food. I, I do have food on me. I think I've got... Do I have food on me? Oh no, I put it away. Oh god, in my head I had food on me. Oh no, this is even worse than I thought. <laughs> oh, so close as well. If I had like a couple of food items, we'd be fine. Oh, stop dropping things. Oh, I can eat the wasabi. Nom 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 nom. I mean, I, I would have liked to sell it, but that's fine. Hey, and that's the floor. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we looked out a little bit there, but good stuff. All right, sweet. Got to floor five. Got some ore. Got some new materials. I'm not a weapon kind of guy. I'm my mining to level two. Whereas me, got a freaking giant glowing blade, apparently. <laughs> not sure what's going on there. Cool, 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 cool. Da da. Da da. Oh. <laughs> oh no, it's new. I need it. Um. Um. I think I care about that more than I care about the, the fur. There we go. I was worried really it disappeared then. Oh no. <laughs> no, I can't. Stop. Stop. I can't. I can't. I can't get that one anyway. It's a nightmare. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm not. Why do I ever doubt myself, honestly? It's crazy. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, uh, you can go away, you can go away, you can go away. I wonder what this is for. Slime goop. It just says loot. Do you reckon that's ever got use? Put it away for now, it's fine. Okay, Betty bye-byes. 
Um, yeah, we will end it there then. Thank you so much for joining me, my lovely ladies and gentlemen. Next video, we're going to have some money, so we're going to go and buy a inventory upgrade and then probably some more seeds and just we'll plug all the money into seeds again and hopefully, you know, make more money again. Keep that rotating round. Um, maybe go back into the mines, keep catching stuff, get some more stuff for the museum, crack open those geodes, do some fishing. Gameplay loop kind of established at this point. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much of as always. Bye bye. Just throwing this in at the end, kind of forgot. So our farming is leveled up. We got three max stamina added, and we can now make fertilizer and a scarecrow. And our mining's gone up, and we can make explosives. And we need seven hundred and twenty quid. Not bad. Not bad at all. Daisies and turnips worth the exact same amount, and they plant in the exact same number of days. Nine, so they're worth, what, 80 each, I think it is. All right, cool. Oh, baby. <laughs> Fertilizer, chance to grow better qualities if mixed with soil. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, bye.